Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Week in League Rewards. The preseason rewards are going to be out today. I'm going to talk about that, the Player of the Year, Player of the Season, Kevin De Bruyne SBC, and what else is going on with the market and what you're going to see today on foot. Okay, it is Thursday, right? So it's Rewards Day. I'm going to talk about this SBC, the upgrades, and just stuff that has gone on in FIFA the past day because, yes, I did not upload yesterday. Shout out to EA Sports for that one for knocking the servers down last night uh, for a four-hour time period. It was actually longer than a four-hour time period, um, but for a time period where usually I'm on the game uh, in my short amount of time that I have to do that, and unfortunately, they knocked the game down. So uh, with whatever maintenance that they had going on, I was not able to upload yesterday. So GG to EA for that one, unfortunately. But we're here again today. We have rewards today, right? A lot of you guys are still playing the weekend league because of the rewards. You're still grinding this game. And a lot of you guys might have some newfound, maybe some hype, because I know a lot of you are waiting on this Kevin De Bruyne SBC. So we're going to talk about that and rewards. First thing I want to talk about is those rewards, right? Weekend league rewards coming out in a packs today. Now, one thing is different than last week. We have, yes, the rewards are all team of the season based. So your red picks, all team of the seasons. Again, your elite and above packs are all going to be team of the season items whether it's 11 players pack or a three players pack for the elite or top 100 um you're gonna see a lot of team of the season supply today on the market because not only are they getting supplied tradable through these tots packs they are also in regular packs right we're gonna have a lot of influx on packs today and just to kind of show you what that is gonna do to the to the market we had this new sbc come out today right the kevin de bruyne sbc with all of the SBCs that are required to complete this, what it's uh, it's six squads, right? Six squads to complete this KDB. We'll talk about this uh, in its entirety in a second. But all of these packs are tradable that you get back for doing this SBC. I know a lot of people are interested in this. And we also got a tradable halftime UCL SBC today. It's expensive to do, but it's a mega pack. So people are going to do it, right? So uh, with all of that supply today, High rated stuff. Some went up, but most of the high rated stuff. I'm looking at 88s. Like I was looking at a uh, team of the season Benton Core, a card that is in packs um, that you would think would have gone up today because of you know the SBCs for KDB coming out. This guy really didn't go up today that much. He's up a couple thousand coins, and of course he is one of the cheapest by rating on Flipin right now. So uh, he's kind of been fluctuating between like 32, 33, 34. And like 36k uh, on the market as of course he is in packs but i think the biggest thing you're going to see out of rewards today is a lot of prices over here dropping and yes this is the cheapest players by rating i think what you're going to see is a lot of dropping on especially the 81s 82s and 83s 84s probably as well getting a big drop in price today 85s 86s all of these special cards that are in packs are going to take a hit down in price it's going to make the kdb sbc cheaper it's going to make crafting other stuff cheaper at least for a couple hours before 6 p.m uk so if you're somebody who likes to invest in sbc fodder if you're still up and making coins i would cash that out tonight for sure i would cash it out take the coins before rewards and i think you'll see some stuff continue to go down after rewards especially in like the 82 to 83 range because these cards are so cheap man nine thousand they're not cheap expensive nine thousand coins for all 83s that's going to take a hit, 82s. So definitely get these guys out before Weekend League Rewards come uh, today, this morning, uh, when I'm putting out this video for you dudes. But last thing uh, regarding the rewards, right? Again, the team of the season cards are going to get supplied. Um, and if we do get content today on Thursday at 6 p.m., that could create a little bit of a bubble situation depending on what SBCs do come out. Now, we have not seen that 89 rated five players pack yet. A lot of you guys have been asking for it. Is it going to come today? I think it is very likely that SBC comes today because uh, yesterday we got De Bruyne. The day before that, we got the 92 plus tots. I think today is going to be that 89 five rare players pack. In my opinion, I think for the 89 uh, four players pack, they required like an 80s. Maybe an 88 rated squad or an 87 rated squad. I'd have to actually go back and look at that for sure. I don't have that pulled up right now, but uh, it was kind of an expensive SBC. So I would be kind of interested in some of the 85s, the 84s, just because even though that SBC might not be super duper um, 
you might have some 87 rated squads or an 88 rated squad. A lot of people have icons and are packing icons or have maybe even some icon moments that are above 90 rated in their clubs again from doing upgrades or doing the 92 plus TOTS SBCs that they can put in for those squads to make so then they go out and have to only have to buy cheaper players right so i would watch 84s 85s and 86s today even 83s once again to see if they do drop down and one other thing i would look out for today is i personally think that we are going to get a champions league showdown sbc dropped very very soon for the Champions League final, which is on the 23rd on Sunday, I believe. Is that correct? Yes, 23rd on Sunday. This coming Sunday is the Champions League final. So either today or Friday, I think we're honestly going to get a Champions League showdown SBC between Bayern and PSG. So hopefully that SBC comes out. All I'm saying is watch the SBC fodder. If that 89 SBC does come out today, you might see some dipping at rewards and then some stuff going back up because, you know, like today with the De Bruyne SBC coming out, yes, there's some hype for this, but the amount of hype that there is for this compared to an upgrade pack SBC guaranteeing you high rated cards with all of the types of cards that are in packs, there's going to be way more hype for that. And you're going to see the high rated fodder and fodder in general move way more for that type of upgrade pack. So again, speaking of Champions League though, let's talk about this really fast. Earlier today, Bayern ended up beating 3-0 uh, Lyon. So it is a Barca, or not Barca, sorry. It is a Bayern PSG Champions League final. I think that's kind of what we expected after seeing the semifinal matchups. This ARP is going to go to a 95 rated card. To my understanding, I don't think, okay, Bernat got upgraded. So Bernat is now 95 rated. He got his upgrade. That's a pretty juicy looking left back card. GG's. What are his? He's high medium work rates. All right, whatever. I'm, I did not do this SBC. I actually didn't end up doing ARP as well. But this is going to go to a 95, right? This is going to look like a cracked out card. I would expect this upgrade to happen sometime later Thursday, depending on when Bernat got upgraded. I kind of missed the time when that happened. Probably sometime today. This will go to a 95. And then, of course, that means that Goretzka will get updated as well. Did my other PSG boys get the upgrade? Um, Bernat got his upgrade, but no. Sarabia is still a 95. Sarabia should go to a 96. I believe Marquinhos is still a 93. Yeah, he should be going to a 94. So um, I would expect these cards to get upgraded today, or very, actually very soon. They might be updated by the time you watch this video. They should be going up plus one. And then the Goretzka and the Kingsley Coman should be going up very soon as well. Hopefully by Friday, you'll see those go up. And again, this is just your reminder, right? Whoever performs well, if you're watching the Champions League final, if you're watching that, that game, right? If somebody is performing well IRL in that game, look at what happened with Serge Gnabry today, right? Scores two goals right off the bat, goes from 120,000 coins all the way up to 130, 140, and probably going to still rise more. He's like, he's basically 150 on the market right now um, because it looks like one of them got undercut right there. But, you know, it just brings hype to FIFA. A lot of people watch the Champions League game since it's such a big competition. They come back to FIFA and they're like, yo, I want to play with those guys that I just watched play on TV. So again, you're looking at Gnabry here. He's basically 150,000 coins at the moment. Uh, if you're going to watch the Champions League final, if you're still trying to make some coins right now, or, you know, want to get a head start on maybe people wanting to buy a player that they're going to use, um, Watch the game and then hop on, on, the, on the foot market when you see somebody score or see something happen positive for somebody in that game. You'll probably see a market movement for that. Same thing with the uh, with the Europa League final, which is on Friday, Sevilla and Inter. So again, uh, Diego Carlos and um, I forget who the Inter, do we have it? Oh, Handanovic. Handanovic and Diego Carlos upgrades are on the line for that game on Friday. Now quickly, let's talk about the Kevin De Bruyne SBC, all right? Some of you guys have been holding SBC fodder for ages, right? You've been saying, yo, when is this KDB SBC? When is it going to happen? This is the first ever 99 rated non-icon SBC that we have ever had in FIFA Ultimate Team for an award winner, Kevin De Bruyne. Same exact stats as the team this season, which is what we expected. The dynamic image is kind of a weird one. It's like a green screen dynamic, but I do think he is wearing the new city kit. So that's kind of cool that he's got the new city kit on. It actually goes really well with the car design with the like the light blue in the background. So that's pretty cool in my opinion. Um, and the price of this SBC, you know, 
I do think they could have made it cheaper. It's out for two weeks, so you've got you've got a while to craft this, right? With all the other upgrade packs that are out right now, if you want this card, which I kind of do, you're going to have plenty of opportunities to craft this through upgrade packs throughout the next two weeks. That's one way you could look at it. Um, it right now is coming in on Footbin at a price of like 1.4 million coins. And this is kind of like an icon SBC in the fact that it's going to have some continual demand for the next couple weeks while it's out. 1.4 mil right now for KDB um, with the most expensive squads being those two 88 rated squads. So again, you'll be able to cut down on some of those prices if you have um, high rated team of the season pulls or if you're grinding, you know, the 82 to 88 into the 83 double plus into the icon moments or anything like that. You'll have some high rated cards you can put in here if you want to grind it. But um, a lot of people were not super happy about this card's price. I, I get it. Now you can go and say, yo, why would you not just go out and buy the team of the season card with the same stats that is now the same price as the SBC? And to be honest with you, um, this kind of thing happened with like Van Dyke's player of the season, player of the year last year. Um, I wish they would have valued this SBC at like, you know, a million coins flat. But the fact, since they valued it like 1.3 right away, 1.4, obviously this team of the season De Bruyne was 1.8 mil. And since the SBC is down here at this price, you're going to see that card drop down that low. Since that gap is not that big, this is where, I mean, if you remember me, me saying this uh, last week when I thought this SBC was going to come out on Friday, we nailed the price point. I said somewhere between 1.2 and 1.5 million coins, and it was right at 1.3 to 1.4 which is kind of what I expected. I wish it would have been cheaper. Um, but, you know, the reason why I'm not super upset and the reason why I don't think this is a bad value SBC is because you're getting a 99 rated card for 1.4 million coins. It is the team of the season, De Bruyne. You're getting tradable packs back. And with all of the stuff that is in packs right now, it is actually very easy to craft this. I know it's 285s, 286s, and 288s, but you can craft those squads very, very easily. I mean, the Icon Moments upgrade is an 85 and 86. So this is like one third of the SBC completed right here. If you do these two squads, um, if you craft an Icon Moments upgrade, you're crafting one third of the um, De Bruyne basically already. Uh, so if you're grinding the menus and, and grinding the upgrades, you you can work towards that De Bruyne and probably end up spending only like maybe 500 or 600,000 coins, maybe 700K um, if you have some stuff in the club that you can use as well. And you're going to do that SBC for not a terrible value. So in my opinion, that's not a bad value SBC. A little bit higher, it's not bad value. It's just like, okay, it's worth it, right? It's not amazing value. You should go do it. It's kind of like in the middle, okay. So that's kind of my feelings on the KDB uh, and on just the what what's going to happen for the market today. And of course, the SBC content that could come out today as well. I will say one more small thing about rewards and that 89 plus SBC. If you're somebody who's trying to make some Thursday flips, Prime Icon Moments would be the only thing that I would try to flip today. Look for some Moments cards that fluctuate every week. Go look at some footbin graphs. Um, you know, popular cards that people try to use every week or that people are using that are meta, uh, that are pretty rare. Maybe like a Moments Blanc type of person would, would be a card that I would maybe look to flip today if that's something you're trying to do is still do some Thursday flips. This might be a decent card to look at since it's pretty rare, meta, and used by a lot of people. And then, of course, if that 89 does, uh, 89 five rare plaque pack does come out, I think you'll see a little bit more of a sell-off right around 6 p.m. UK. Um, even though it's a rewards day, you might see a bit of a sell-off just because stuff is starting to bump back up. Or I do think stuff will bump up afterwards, but people are going to have to sell cards in order to do that type of SBC. Just because we're at this stage of the game where a lot of this stuff um, is not cheap because SBC fodder is so expensive. Wow, I actually won this sun on bid last night when the servers were about to go down. I dropped a couple bids um, before going to play Fall Guys, and uh, I actually won this Team of the Year nominee sun for 20,000 coins. And I think this guy goes for like 60k. So we got a sun with a hunter that, uh, yeah, man, 60,000 coins. We will take it. GGs. That's a nice little, uh, was that like 30k profit ish? That's that's actually sick, man. GGs. We'll, we'll we take it. All right. Making coins when the servers are going down in August. You'd love to see it. Anyways, boys, um, that's kind of the video for today. Hopefully, we have some cool content tomorrow on Friday. I'm assuming that since they've kind of they've sectioned this promo into different things. Maybe Friday is when we're actually going to see the top transfer content. We haven't seen anything related to transfers just yet. 
Um, so maybe we will see some of that then. If you're playing Weekend League and you have rewards, good luck as always. And if you're still grinding away or grinding away at these objectives, I need to get three more Rivals wins. to Get myself a 25K pack and an 80-plus player pack reward in Foot 21. So I got to play a couple more games for that. I might do one more Weekend League before this game is over with the Spurs squad. Uh, I have almost enough Foot Champs points, not quite yet. Uh, but yeah, good luck if you have rewards today. Good luck if you're grinding the game, grinding the menus, and still maybe trying to make coins. And GG's if you wanted that KDB. I know a lot of you really wanted that KDB card, so I'm happy for you because you got it, all right? That's the video for today, boys. If you enjoyed it, smash a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have questions, and subscribe to the channel for new. The Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.